Hi everybody, it's Faith and Fire Saint Tara. Hope everyone is well. So, I ended up having to work late today. And since I wasn't working the normal shift that I, I normally work on Fridays, which I normally work the evening shift, I actually worked the early morning shift today. So, um, I had to work late, so I worked probably close to, you know, 13, uh, probably about 11, almost 12 hours today. So, yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> and I finally get home and I'm relaxing. And you know what? I'm going to drink some homemade cocoa made with warm milk and I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm sitting here watching the news and I'm like, oh crap, it's Friday. I have to do the top and bottom of the deck reading. So we're here. We're going to do this. I'm only using three, not the normal five decks that I use when I do this because I go by the elements. So for those of you who are new here and don't know how I do this, I go by the elements. It is Sagittarius season. Yes. Yes. Super excited because I'm a Sagittarian. My birthday is actually um, day after tomorrow. So yay. I'll be 40. Yay. Anyway, go by the elements. We'll start off with the fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We'll go around the wheel accordingly. So fire, earth, air, water. All things as they should be in proper order. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it does not resonate, if it is not your message, I encourage you to leave the cards on the table and walk away. Do not take with you what does not belong to you because that's how fights get started. And I don't need anybody saying, well, that tarot lady said, you know, you were doing this. No, I didn't. It's not your message. It's not your message. <laughs> Leave it alone. Just keep in mind, you can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that resonates a little bit better. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at Fire Sign Tarot. <sighs> okay, I think I got that all out. Again, tonight I'm, I'm making this short and sweet and to the point because I have half of this full of warm milk in me. I could doze off at any second. So, <laughs> I just, ah, uh, remembered at the last minute. All right, enough of my incessant babbling. We're going to throw the cards on the table. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. What's going on with you guys this week? Da, 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 da. King of Pentacles reversed. And the devil in the reverse. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So with all that heavy jazz. I don't know about all that. Well, disconnecting from a potentially toxic connection, possibly with an earth sign. If it's not your message, I'd walk away now if I were you. <sighs> Could be a Capricorn. Mm. Huh. Okay. Well, what happened? If you're walking away, there's got to be a reason. Page of Wands reversed, Five of Cups reversed. Lack of forward movement, coming out of a state of sadness. Possibly this was one of those throwing a band-aid on a cannonball wound scenarios. Hmm, okay. What happened after that? Six of Pentacles, upright. Two of Pentacles, upright. Hmm. A playing field got leveled here somewhere. Could... Okay, here's the thing. Okay. 
time is fluid, and I want you to keep this in mind when you watch me read cards. I don't know at what point in time the universe is going to throw me into. So, these events could be playing out right now. Some of it could, and when I say what happened, be it in the past, past tense, happened, ED at the end. I don't know when it happened. And then it segues into something a little bit closer to the now. It doesn't have to be right now. Because this is right now. You're just connecting from something that's potentially toxic. This is just a fast forward button. A little bit closer to what's playing on right now. It could be right now. It could have been a week ago. It could have been a month ago. It could have been a freaking year ago. I don't know. It's just the fast forward button. And I know some of you are saying, um, Faith, you said short, sweet, and to the point. So get to the point. Okay, we'll get to the point. A playing field got leveled. I don't know if it was with this connection or something else. I have a sense. My senses are saying that this was something else leveled off. And something else was more of an equal give and take. Something else found its balance again. All right, what's happening this week for my fire sign friends? Okay, super weird. Judgment reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. Huh? Uh? What? Mm. Reversal of judgment and emotional closing off? Okay. Okay, I'll bite. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and the table for my fire sign friends, please? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, November 28th through, oh gosh, I hate it when months change. <laughs> I can't do math in my head when I'm not tired. Yeah, I have to check a calendar. I feel no shame. I feel no shame, guys. November 27th to December 4th. Okay. Two more shuffles. Why are you shuffling cut like that if you're just going to let them fly? Um, Because that's how I roll. For those of you who are new here. Do, 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 do. Oh, what are we clarifying first? Okay, I dropped like four cards. I don't think the universe meant for that to happen. So we're going to put them back. Ten of Cups reversed. Okay, well, that's a card to come out specifically if um, you're disconnecting from something. Somebody's not happy. It didn't end well. It wasn't the fairy tale ending you were looking for. Okay, fine. Didn't I say a few minutes ago you were throwing a band-aid over a cannonball wound? Sometimes when we come out of our state of sadness, we come to our senses. Can I get one on this page of wands, please? King of Cups, full of emotion. Okay. Oh, we have another flipper. Eight of Pentacles, full of emotion. Pouring all of your energy and resources into something that is not going anywhere. Okay, you did this, according to the cards. This happened. This was a thing. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? That's literally like filling your gas tank just to sit there and idle. Okay. 
throwing that out there. Knight of Cups reversed. Coming out of a state of sadness, Knight of Cups reversed. You know what? I don't think I want that cup after all. I don't think I want the cup after all. I think this was a difficult conversation for you to have, too. It's super weird. Okay. Hmm. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Regain your balance, regain your footing, playing fields level off a little bit. Eight of Cups, you walked away. Okay. Usually when you're not happy and you realize that you've been spinning your wheels and you don't want the cup after all, you walk away. Okay. Four of Pentacles reversed on top of a Two of Pentacles. You've, re you've regained your balance. You've regained your footing. You're not juggling your emotions anymore. Things are level. Things are okay. You're able to keep all your balls in the air. You're not dropping anything. You're able to release as you walk away. Okay. Okay. So this week, we'll talk about this week for a second. Judgment. Judgment reversed. Why is judgment reversed here? Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You're changing your mind about somebody? Possibly. Reversal of judgment. Why the Queen of Pentacles? I gotta know. Four of Wands. Reverse the judgment. You could be walking toward another Earth sign. Doors could be opening for you. This could be like a soulmate connection. You got the 1111 thing going on. Twin Flame. If you believe in that sort of thing. <laughs> Some of us don't. Some of us are still kind of confused as to what the twin flame thing is all about. It's not necessarily the, your match or the person that you're meant to be with forever. You know, in, in some schools of thought, it, it literally your soul has split into two uh, because you have that much karmic baggage from lifetime after lifetime after lifetime that it takes two of you to deal with it all. That's what some of us believe in regards to that. I mean, it could be. Or, well, this Queen of Pentacles represents an open door. It represents the catch. It represents the person you want to be. And it's potentially... I'm catching a sense for some of you. I don't know. This I'm feeling compelled to say this for some reason right now. It's the cannon. Band-aid over cannonball wound. For some of you, it might be the cannon. Some of you might be having a reversal of judgment over the earth sign, potentially. Could be an earth sign, doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm sensing it's either an earth sign or just an extremely toxic connection with an overbearing person, possibly, who has to have everything their way in a certain way, who may have blown themselves up to be more than they actually were with that King of Pentacles reversed. I mean, you know, but you know, according to Clarify, you just weren't happy anyway. So it, why would you go back if you just weren't happy? I don't know. I'm having a feeling for, I, I, I feel like it's the canon. I feel like it's the canon. You're, you're having that reversal of judgment. 
I don't know. Just let me know if it resonates, fire sign friends. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? There's always two sides to every story. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Five of Pentacles reversed. Someone who previously was closed off to you or you were closed off to them. Um, and that door is opening up. Somebody's coming in out of the cold. Could be you. Could be them. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know how it went down. I don't know who said what. I was not there. I'm just reading cards. I don't know all the answers. If it's resonating with you, you know the answer. You may have to think about it, but you know it. I'm going to throw one more on that before we get you a card of advice. So what am I going to do? I don't know what you're going to do. It's not my journey. It's not up to me what you're going to do. It's not up to me what you're going to do. It's not my life. Nine of Swords reversed. I, I bet after, you know, things might get smoothed over that you'll probably sleep better at night. I don't know. I don't know. That could be being able to sleep better at night, actually being able to, you know, put it out of your mind, things are going better, or you're going bat poop bonkers about it. I don't know. I don't know. Reversed cards can amplify the effect of the card, or they can nullify the effect of the card. I'm going to shut up and give you your advice now. Page of Cups, upright, full reversed. Don't jump at the cup if somebody presents it to you. Don't jump at the cup. Remember, all things can be vice versa. So, if you were the one who had, you know, the cannonball that you had to throw a band-aid over the wound and they come back to you with a reversal of judgment that they were wrong, you might want to be careful about what's in that cup. Don't jump into things too quickly. Unless there's one hell of an apology in that cup. Nine of Swords upright, Page of Swords reversed. And you know what? If you don't hear from this person again, don't lose sleep over it. It's not something to go all bat poop bonkers about. It's really not. <laughs> or, if you're the one kicking the ball around about communicating... I mean, are you going to be, especially if you've been in separation for a while, if you're going to, are you going to be in any worse of a place than you are right now? If you haven't been talking, if you reach out and they don't respond, no, <laughs> you're not going to be in any worse of a place. You haven't been talking. You're still not talking. You're no better or worse off at that point. Maybe you can release it at that point. I don't know. It's up to you, fire signs. Do what you want. I, I'm just throwing down cards. Do what you want. Okay. Can you believe I've only had like maybe one cup of coffee today? Can you believe that? <laughs> Yeah, me, the coffee lady. I've only had one cup today. And it, it is now, according to the clock that I'm reading, about a quarter after nine at night. And I'm this awake, and I've been up since 4.30 this morning. So, <laughs> yeah. Whee! It's going to be a long day. Okay, Earth Signs. And i got to do it all over again tomorrow. Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 28th through December. What did I say? I'm sorry. I'm terrible at this. December 4th. November 28th to December 4th. Two more shuffles. I'll get your cards on the table. I might have said the 27th earlier. But I forgot today is the 27th. I don't even know what day of the week it is right now. 
I forgot it was Friday, guys. I forgot it was Friday. That's how messed up my schedule is right now. It's the earth energy in me. It, it's that grounded, scheduled, you do this at this time energy that fights with my spontaneous Sagittarian energy constantly. Yeah. It is what it is. Okay. The chariot upright, the prince of swords in the reverse. Could be a cancer you're dealing with. Could be an air sign. Either you've distanced yourselves from each other and you're not speaking, or someone had to move and you're not speaking. It could be literal physical distance. It could be emotional distance. There's a gap. There's a gap there. You're not talking. You're in separation, probably. All right, what happened? Princess of Swords reverse, Three of Cups reversed. Well, dug on it. Okay, so maybe, possibly, you all just lost touch. I mean, it happens. We'll throw clarifiers on it in a second. First glance, first blush. You just you lost touch. Lack of communication. And what happened? Eight, eight of cups reversed in the two of cups. Well. Hmm. Okay. Oh. There's a return involved here. And a new love. Okay, what's coming in this week? Six of Cups reverse Three of Swords. Okay. Oh, man. I, uh, Earth signs, you know, I... I already know where this is going to go, okay? I already know where it's going to go. Just by looking at this, okay, so there was a return, two of cups moment, and this week it's going to be a six of cups reverse three of swords moment, and there's salty feelings involved and broken hearts, and y'all are, aren't talking. There's a gap there be it emotional, physical, or otherwise. Justice in the playing field levels. She shows up when bad stuff went down. And for the record, at this moment, right now, there are no wands on this table at all. There's no fire energy on this table at all. So, this is all cups and swords. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cup? <laughs> on the cards on the table for my earth sign friends, please. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 28th through the 4th of December. Seven of Swords. Oh. Yeah, something went down. Something went down, friends. Um, gosh, where can I put this where you guys can see it? There, that'll work. 
a I don't think somebody was very honest. Death reversed. We're going to put that up over there. Why is the princess of swords reversed here? Swords reversed. Okay, so well, at least somebody didn't allow themselves to be all caged up emotionally due to a lack of communication. I don't think somebody let, let themselves be caged up at all. Why is the Three of Cups reversed here? Ten of Pentacles reversed. No happiness, no abundance, no happy ending. It was a disconnect. Could have been a disconnect with family. Possibly. I don't know. <sighs> Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Lovers in the High Priestess. Mm. Ouch. Ouch. So there was a return. Either you returned to someone or someone returned to the situation. I don't know who did what. I wasn't there. Someone was possibly torn between two. I think someone may have instinctively not known that, hey, it's time to it's time to return. The high priestess is all about timing. She's extremely intuitive. Duh. She's the high priestess. I know why this Two of Cups is here, but I'm going to ask the clarifiers anyway. Why the Two of Cups? So you were in separation, you lost touch, you stopped communicating. Maybe things weren't going well financially, maybe somebody had to move. You lost touch. Somebody comes back, possibly came back, maybe returning to the person that they left behind, and lo and behold, King of Wands. And if you weren't in separation and you were still speaking, there was not honest communication going on. And that would be why that Seven Swords showed up.
Yeah, that's a connection that's dead in the water. And with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Five if you count the death card. Five major arcana on this table right now. This was soulmate stuff. This may have been meant to teach somebody something. This may have been a lesson. I don't think you thought about it. I think you just, pff, you know what? I don't even know why I'm here. I think you just left. At that point. You just left. Death card reversed. This wasn't going to evolve. It was not meant to evolve. Some shady crap going on. And nothing levels a playing field faster than walking in and seeing something you weren't supposed to see. And I'm not going to get any more specific than that. You could have walked in on it. You could have overheard it. You could have looked over someone's shoulder and read something off their phone or their laptop. You know, saw a letter, you know, for people who still do snail mail. You know, you know. Mm. You saw something you weren't supposed to see. Or all things being fair and vice versa, they saw something they weren't supposed to see. And again, I don't know. I don't know who did what. I'm not here to point fingers. I'm here to read cards. As for this week, I already know why the Six of Cups reversed is here. But we're going to ask the clarifiers anyway. Why the Six of Cups reversed? Yeah, I'd have salty feelings too. Page of Wands reversed. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups? Knight of Cups reversed. Yeah, I dare say it's a little bit too late for apologies. Earth signs, this might hang you up for a minute. Yeah, there's sore feelings. Feelings have definitely been hurt here. But this, this, this was a lesson. This was meant to teach you something. I think they may try to apologize, and I, I don't see you taking the apology well, and quite frankly, I don't blame you. If it's, if it's as bad as it is unfolding behind my eyes, like what I'm seeing in my head, I'm not going to tell you how to live. I'm not. <laughs> it's not my journey. Why is Three Swords here? Two of Swords Reverse, Three of Swords Upright. Yeah. 
Not an easy decision for coming up for you. One more. Shadow side, devil card. Another major arcana. Ten of Wands. It's not an easy decision to make when you decide to do what's best for you. And sometimes what's best for you is breaking somebody's heart. I, I feel persistence on their end, though. Possibly a little bit of an obsessive behavior. Like, they had you on the hook and they want to keep you on the hook. But I see you releasing the burden. I do. There's way too much salt involved in this sugar right now. Way too much. With that death card reversed, I don't see this person changing their ways. I don't. I see you putting distance there, and I see you keeping it there. I don't see you communicating. It's going to kill you. It's going to hurt. And it's probably going to break your heart as much as it's going to break theirs. But you have to do what's best for you. And this was not an okay situation. I mean, it wouldn't have been for me. Do what you want. It's not my life. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles came out twice. Okay, verbatim. It's not showing weakness to accept the pinnacle of apology. It's not showing weakness to accept someone's apology. If you allow them to further dictate and control you and pull your strings, and I have a funny feeling with this devil card down here that it was very much, okay, they're on my hook and they're going to stay there. That's when that becomes not okay. But again, it's not my journey. Do what you want. Other set of your advice, eight of wands, ace of pentacles. You need to move forward with a quickness. And it's all about forward movement toward the pinnacle that you want, toward the start and abundance that you want. Okay. Earth signs. Wow. Wow. That was draining. I still have, I still have two more elements to do and that was draining. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. I, I think I'm just tired. I mean, it could be. I, I could be just extremely tired. Oh, see what I'm doing? You see that? I can't even tell what decks what in these decks don't even look a thing alike right now. Oh, okay. Switch back. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 28th to December 4th.
the star and the queen of swords. Hmm. You are healing. You are possibly becoming more connected to spirit and source. Possibly could be a 5D connection going on with another person. Another connection. But you are demanding the truth of the matter. You are being very much the queen of swords. Possibly in the process of that healing using that sword to... Cut people, situations on your life. Sometimes that's part of the healing process. Sometimes that's what we need to do to heal. I've had to do it. It was not an easy feat. It was not at all. But we're not going to talk about me. What happened? The moon and the Knight of cups. Ooh. Yeah, it does that. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes we follow that cup into the dark, dark woods, don't we? Sometimes it is a fun house. The, you know, one of the ones with the mirrored walls and things are not as they perceive. Or is not as... Ugh, things are not as they are perceived to be. Things look a whole lot different in the moonlight than they do the sunshine. We don't see things as they actually are. Possibly that's what you're healing from. Possibly that's what you had to cut out. What happened after that? Queen of Wands reversed, Empress reversed. Oh, yeah. Somebody had an aha moment. Queen of Wands in the upright knows what she wants, knows how to get it, and more importantly, she knows what she doesn't want. And she'll stamp it out real quick. I don't want that. And she'll, you know, either get on her horse and ride away, or she'll shoot away with her staff, you know. She knows what's good for her and she knows what's not good for her. She's very intuitive. Very much so. Probably the most intuitive of all the queens. She knows. Empress Reverse. I think you knew that you did not want whatever this was. And you knew it didn't have any hope for any growth, any expansion. It wasn't going to go anywhere. It is the Empress Reversed. You don't want this. What's happening next? Ten of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Clarifier. I'm hearing the sacrifice is going to be worth it in the end. That's what I'm hearing. Now I got to know what sacrifice. I got to get nosy. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my air sign friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. November 28th through December 4th. I know what you're all about. Why the Knight of Cups? King of Cups. Okay. You love it. You feel very deep emotion for it. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. You poured all of your energy into it. You had deep emotion for it. I think you poured more than energy into this. 
I think some of you may have poured money into this. Some of you may have had a sugar mama or a sugar daddy thing going on with this. The star card usually doesn't show up if you had a good time. I'm just saying. The star card shows up when you had to heal from something. And usually if you're healing from it, it kind of sucked. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like this was a money pit connection. It wasn't what you thought it was going to be. It was smoke and mirrors. That's craptastic. That, that wasn't fun. I'm kind of glad you had the aha moment. Why the Queen of Wands? Six of Wands reversed. Somebody didn't have a victorious moment. Oh no. Somebody got chased off, probably with a great big staff. Well, the fortune came out, but. But. It was meant to end. It wasn't going to go nowhere. It was karmic, probably less involved in this. The star card usually, you know, as we're healing, we're learning a very valuable lesson. It's kind of like when you were a kid and, and there was a hot pan on the stove. And it didn't matter how many times you were told to not touch the handle. You touched it and you got burned and you had to heal. What did you learn? Don't touch the hot pan. Why the Empress reverse? Don't sugarcoat it, guys. Tell it like it is. Four of Pentacles. This is not going to go anywhere. This is not right for me. It's time to release it and let it go. Have the aha moment. All right. Fast forward to this week. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And I'm hearing the sacrifice will be worth it in the end. Why the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Oh, 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 oh. Where'd it go? Ha ha! Queen of Cups. You know what the Queen of Cups is all about? Self love. And, and you had another Queen show up, so that's pretty cool. I mean, Queen of, queen of Wands was in the reverse, but you know. One more. It is swords reversed. You're not going to be all locked up in it anymore. You're not going to let it bother you. You're going to love yourself. And that's amazing. You know what happens when you love yourself? Abundance comes. And the state of being okay again. You know what she is? She's one pentacle away from a great catch is what she is. She is a great catch. She's independent. She's strong. She's self-assured. She's self-aware. She knows she's got it going on. You know what happened? You know why it happened? Self-love. Mm. You loved yourself enough to realize you didn't want whatever that was. Whatever you were dumping your energy and your money into. Yeah, it hurts. Hot pan on the stove. 
Sometimes you gotta get burned to realize what you don't want to put your hands on. That's how life is. Sometimes you gotta get burned and you gotta heal to realize what you wanna cut out of your life. And then this happens. And the sacrifice was worth it. What, what are you really sacrificing here? Not having a good time? It'll be worth it. I promise. It's always worth it when you love yourself. I'm not even going to give you advice. I'm just going to let it ride. I'm leaving it alone. That was beautiful. Okay, fine. I'll give you advice. Let me stack my cards. Put that there. Put that there. Page of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords in the upright. Know what's in the cup. Know what's in the cup. Back when we had the moon up there, remember the moon card? The smoke and mirrors and things not being as they seemed. You didn't know what was in the cup, did you? What was next to that cup? What was next to that moon card? What was next to it? It was the Knight of Cups. If you don't know what's in the cup, just be mindful of what's in the cup, okay? That's your advice. And if you don't know what's in the cup, it wouldn't hurt to ask around. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something before I move on to the to the water signs. My dear sister, God love her, did a background check on my domestic partner before he and I got married years ago. She did a background check because we both kind of wanted to know what was in the cup and what I was getting myself into. And turns out he had been completely honest about everything. Wow. Gosh. But... Well, it was worth the whatever money I had to shell out to get that background check done. <laughs> what? What? Don't judge me. I wanted to know what I was getting myself into. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I know some of you are looking at me with judgment right now. <laughs> Can't believe you did that. Well, yeah, I did that. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios. I'm getting slap happy goofy, honey. I'm sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm getting goofy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 28th through December 4th. I gotta get this last element out before I just pass right out on my bed. One more shuffle out to do it. Why are you here? Ten of Pentacles upright, Hermit reversed. Hmm. The bills are paid. There's money in the bank. You're doing well. You're living the dream. But your head is in the sand about something. You are completely ignoring something. I think you've spent a lot of time concentrating on work and finances and things of that nature. A lot of time on shiny stuff. Some of you may have been spending money on shiny stuff instead of dealing with a problem. I'm not judging. Do you? What happened? 
Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Well, it was the beginnings of a solid foundation. Things were going well. Things were coming together. With this High Priestess, um, the High Priestess, it, it's a soulmate card. I mean, that's good, right? The two major arcana on the board so far. One of them, not so rosy, but you know. Specifically that one. This one. Could have used your intuition with the situation. Blessed union. The dark and the light. Where it comes together. We'll throw a clarifier on in a second. Things were well. Fast forward. Will the fortune reverse? Princess of Wands. I always shudder a little bit when the Wheel of Fortune reversed goes on my table. Because that's a card of unfinished business. I don't know if it was yours or theirs. But that's a card of unfinished business. We're not going to talk about what the wands mean. Most of you have been following the channel for a while know what the wands mean. A little something, something, you know what I'm saying? A little sugar and spice and everything nice. Mm. And that's, that's messages. Oh my. What's coming in this week before I throw clarifiers on this? Five of Cups reversed and Judgment. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my water sign friends? Please, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm just reading cards, guys. If it's not your message, don't manifest it into your life. And don't go home and point fingers at people. Please. It's general. This might be for some of you. It's not going to be for all of you. And sometimes it's a special message for a special somebody. And the universe just uses me as a vessel. And I've accepted this about myself. Why is the high priestess here? Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups? Five of Wands reversed. Walking away, avoiding confrontation, using one's intuition about what? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Mm, it's a three. Sometimes we get really tired, I think, out loud. <laughs> I should probably come with a warning label. And two of wands. That's not so terrible. So the solid foundation, but you're at a crossroads. Do I let go of the past and move forward to the future? Or do I hang on? Either some of you chose to hang on and not move forward toward the future, toward that solid foundation, or you're dealing with someone who chose to hang on Somebody walked away. 
Somebody walked away to avoid a confrontation. And whoever walked away to avoid the confrontation was not the one who was hanging on the wand of the past, to tell you that right now. Speaking of wands. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Oh, hi. High Priestess reversed well. Ego check much? Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Unfinished business. Why the high priestess reversed? Five of swords reversed. Unfinished business. Picking up the pieces that were left behind. Maybe somebody has a little bit of an ego. Why the Princess of Wands? Knight of Wands reversed. Oh, well. Somebody may have came back to try to pick the pieces up, saying that they wanted to commit, saying that they were ready. Here's my wand. Ooh, wow. That's a small token, but it's all I have. Oh, boy. Whoosh, okay. Is the five of cups reversed here for what's going to happen this next week? High priest. Six of swords. Some of you might be dealing with somebody who wants to rip the band-aid off and throw a ring on it. Okay. But I got another walking away card here. Why the six of swords? Ten of Pentacles reversed. It all makes sense now. I can offer you the world as long as you keep your head in the sand about what happened. I don't think you're going to keep your head in the sand anymore. I don't. I don't. I think you're going to make a final judgment call this week. I think you're going to say, you know what, I don't need your pentacles, and I, I don't need the BS that goes along with them.
Because the, the high priest is also the teacher of life lessons. Yeah, he marries people. He's a priest and stuff, but he's also a teacher. And you have to keep that in mind when you're dealing with the high priest. Wow. Hmm. So that's what happens when time passes sometimes. Hmm. One in the judgment. Or two. Lovers and the Ace of Swords in the upright. It's a connection. Felt more strongly by one person than the other. Ace of Swords is either dishonest communication or a lack of communication, a cutoff in communication. One on the lovers, please. The lover's card also can indicate um, being torn between two. Do you remember up here how someone was kind of hanging on to the past? Do you remember that? You remember that? Oh, wow, the six of wands reversed. I think this is where you tell them, okay, well, you wanted to hang on to him before. You can go find him again. Wow. Wow, water signs. I'm almost proud. Wow. Wow. Kicking somebody to the curb. Way to steal somebody's thunder. But, you know, it's your journey. Do what you want. I'm not going to push you either way. But, wow. Wow. Temperance and the Six of Swords reversed. This message might be what the, might be for the cross watcher. Do not attempt to engage until the energy between you is flowing in a positive manner. <laughs> It's all about timing. King of Pentacles reversed in the Eight of Wands. Until they are the person that they present themselves to be, keep walking. All right. This has been Friday night. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. Granted, it's probably like the wee hours of Saturday or very early Saturday by the time you guys are watching this because it is so late on Friday night by the time it's going to be uploaded. And I apologize. I forgot what day of the week it was. I'm sorry. My schedule is so screwed up right, right now this week because of the holiday and just how everything had to lay out. And oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to bed. But again, thanks for stopping by. If you feel so compelled, hit the like button. If you want, I'd appreciate it. If not, that's okay too. Um, subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist your arm. But if, if you'd like to see more of my, you know, compulsive, impulsive, non-sugar-coated storytelling, um, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. Because I'll be honest, sometimes my life gets so insane, it's days. Sometimes it's weeks because, well, um, I have a bread and butter job that I go to 50 hours a week and I'm a parent and, um, 
you know, I, I, I have a household to manage and I got stuff going on. But, you know, I love you guys and I appreciate you. You guys are the best. I can't ask, can't ask for better followers. You guys are amazing. But uh, I'm going to check out. Have a fun week. And I'll see you next Friday. Be blessed.